All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Proof some women hate to see men winning. The moment I read this title, I knew I had to react to it. So let's go ahead and react to it together. Why can't Tyler Perry movie make a movie Finally, like this? You're home. What's up, baby? Why are you rubbing your belly like that? I actually missed lunch today, but I don't even want you cooking this time of night, so I'm gonna just order something. Uh, boy, are you crazy? I already made dinner. I got steak in there, <laughs> asparagus, candy yams, and I even made your favorite, berry peach cobbler. No, you didn't make the cobbler. Oh, and I already meal prepped your lunch for the week. Baby, you ain't have to do that. Yeah, we got you all set up, baby. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate you. You are amazing. You know I'm gonna take care of my baby. Oh, and did you take my clothes to the dry cleaner? I need something to wear tomorrow for work. What you need a dry cleaner for when you got me? Already washed it and got your outfit pressed off for tomorrow. I earned them already? <laughs> no wrinkles. <laughs> thanks. That's gonna relieve some of my stress. How was work? Honestly, it's just been a lot. You know, we just got a new project, so it's a little stressful. Mm. It's doing a couple of days, and of course, they got me managing everybody in the sector. It's just a lot. We just got to meet this deadline, and I don't want to mess nothing up. Yeah. You always handle like, everything. You deal with people at work. You handle everything with your family. Come here. Where we going? How about you just allow me to release you some of that stress? Stop asking all these questions. You got to tell me twice. You know what the sad part is about this skit? Is that it's a skit, and it's made for comedic purposes. When was the last time you watched a movie, and it had this type of dynamic? I can't think of one. Mm, mm, mm. You win. The reason why you'll never see Tyler Perry make a movie like that because men, especially black men, they don't want to see us win. They don't want to That's see us facts. win. That's facts. I want to know what possesses you to go to an event or a space where you see attractive men and you think, hmm, let me film a TikTok video boosting their head up by dapping up the tens at this event. Like, I really want to know, like, is it because you know it's going to go viral? Damn, that was <laughs> men can't get compliments? I'm saying it's always people who are like ugly personalities who say stuff like that. These are the people that if you ever approach, she's going to turn you down in a very dramatic way to boost her own head up. It's sad, it's man. Hating shit. Like, can men ever win? It rocks. Can men ever win? Even the women got on her head like, damn, girl, like you're no fun. Like, why can't women compliment men? Only insecure people get mad when other people are getting exactly. compliments or they're being complimented or even giving other people compliments. Why is it pressing you so hard? And I think I know why. Out of her whole friend group, shout out to my mm. black women. She is the least attractive out of her friend group right here. Yep. There is no surprise on if you've ever cold approached or been one of those guys they were approaching, if you're in a if they're in a group, it's always the least attractive one that tries to mess you up the most. Tell me I'm lying. So of course she makes a video like that. Of course. Why she's acting like that. And then she only tagged two out of the four. She only tagged two. So that means something. If you're she's gonna tag, a hater. tag everyone. Just think about it. Just think. <laughs> Wait a minute. <sighs> I think I got a point. Here's a yeah, fact. I don't know what possesses you to go to an event oh, or a space this. where you see attractive men. And you think, hmm, let me film a TikTok video. Boost Maybe like for like, for example, this next video that I'm about to show you here. Check this out. Hi, I wish we could have this conversation face to face because it obviously doesn't go well online, but I'm going to give it my best shot here. So let's start by clarifying the difference between a pick me girl and having empathy. A pick me girl is a woman who seeks to elevate herself above other women by proclaiming that she's better or different. And she does this in order to gain validation and approval from men. I'm not better. I am not different. And the only validation I need is from the creator, which I have. But in fact, I am so not better and I'm so not different that if you look at the first video that did some numbers on my accounts, it was about the divine feminine and the persecution of her. And I made that video because the most sacred experience of my life has been womanhood. It's been sisterhood. I literally teach on the feminine face of God. Like this is, this is so important to me. Ironically, a few days later, I posted a video asking young men why they no longer want to get married and that blew up. And so the irony is these two totally different demographics of people, two totally different demographics. And in that video where from genuine curiosity, I asked that question, why young men no longer want to get married? 4,000 men came back all mm -hmm. saying the same thing, all saying the same thing. Was some of it angry? Yes, there was a lot of grief. There was a lot of anger. There was some hatred, but for the most part, they were just sharing their lived experience in an honest, straightforward way. Me listening to them, me seeking to understand what they're saying is not for their approval. I'm seeking to understand what they're saying because I am sick of the division between men and women, between left. But a woman actually wants to listen, want to learn, want to do better. A lot of women hate that. A lot of bitter women 
hate that because it reminds them of their own lack of effort. And right. So they just hide behind the words of pick me. Christian and new age hippie, Muslim and Jew, like look at the state of our world. Look, at no one wants this. You don't want to live in a world where you feel like you have to choose the bear. Men don't want to live in a world where they feel like women are using them for their assets and will leave at the drop of a hat. So no, I'm not listening and seeking to understand for validation. I am seeking to understand because I feel like that's what we need to be doing more of as a society. What's happening is everyone is shouting to be heard and we are shouting from our wounds and we are shouting from our trauma and we are shouting from all of the places that we hurt in order to be heard and no one is listening and healing starts with being heard. And that is why I am interested in everyone's experience. And what frustrates me about your comment is that you would not be calling me a pick me if I was willing to listen to any other demographic exactly they always have all the empathy in the world for literally anything else but when it, as soon as you mention a man all of a sudden brick walls goes up and any woman who goes on the other side of that wall they attack if it was any other flavor of human you'd be like oh empathy but because i'm willing to listen to men you want to write me off as a pick me exactly. i think if we are willing to exclude one particular slice of humans like one demographic from our empathy, that is the definition of bigotry. And I'm not saying that women haven't been hurt by men. And I'm not saying that we don't have a problem with SA, but I am saying that women have had these experiences and they're terrible and it does not negate the experiences that men have had. Exactly. Hey, not to throw shade, keep it moving. TikTok hates happily married women, masculine men, and families. Meet Facts. Griselda a full-time worker and also a devoted wife who recently posted a video on her TikTok that was captioned, what I cook for my husband after my nine to five. That video was- You already know they're not gonna like that. They're gonna hate that. Very popular. The video that she posted got over 5 million views and it appeared that it was a hit, but for all the wrong reasons. Instead of the chicks in the comment congratulating her, showing appreciation to a woman doing something nice for her husband, she faced a barrage of hate especially from other women. Of course. Why? Of course. Well, because she was doing something nice for her husband. She was cooking for her husband. I'm telling you, when a woman goes above and beyond for a person she says she loves, people hate it. Right? I mean, people, bitter people, bitter women hate that. And again, because it reminds them of their lack of effort. And they're like, well, I don't want him to think that this is normal, even though it is. And this might sound crazy, but this is something that you can't do on TikTok as a wife without facing extreme backlash. I have pissed the internet off, specifically the women. The women are very triggered. So recently I've been posting some videos of me cooking for myself and my husband after my full-time job. And the comments under that video are diabolical. I want you to take a look at some of these miserable comments. This trick says, it's called free labor, a domestic slave. I'm not even sure what, I think she meant why, why you're not embarrassed posting this, telling people how low your self-esteem is, get a divorce, watch Sharia 7 and start implementing. Listen. Bro, what? This is single women keeping other women single. This is sad, bro. Imagine you doing something for somebody you love and somebody compares it to slavery and free labor. Are you insane? Divorce him, watch Sharia 7 and start, come on. Get a divorce is this woman's suggestion to this happily married wife. And also encouraging a wife to go listen to Sharia 7 is also diabolical another miserable chick here says cold overworked and underpaid so she's telling her she's being overworked for cooking after work when she really doesn't have to mind you this comment right here has 41k likes Forty-one thousand likes every woman that like this and makes comments like this i just want to ask them one question what was your relationship like with your father did you ever have a first love as a young woman? See, a lot of guys don't think about that because they don't realize that a woman hasn't had a man to love and she's bitter and hated hatred for that. So now when she sees it, it just reminds her of those feelings and she just starts attacking. 41K likes? Can't stand that. 41,000 women agree with this post. Here's somebody else who says, I call it a sucker. So the wife Griselda explains it's her choice. She cooks about 75% of the week because she loves her husband and gets home before him. It's an act of love and selflessness, not oppression. First of all, I didn't know it was a crime to cook for someone you love in 2024. Didn't know that. 
Secondly, this is a choice. I cook if I want and I don't if I don't want to. My husband doesn't make me or require me to do anything. I'm not some abused and oppressed woman. I care enough about my husband to think, hmm, you know what? He probably is hungry and would like to eat when he gets home. Right. Yeah, it's called compassion. I'm selfless enough to sacrifice a little bit of my time and energy for someone that I love. Some of y'all's comments are just really rude and really mean. Like when I posted that video or just posting on social media, like in general, you will get negative comments. But when y'all are calling me out my name, and that's when it's kind of like, okay, you you have bigger problems than the problem that you think that I have. And guys, quick side note. If you're dealing with a chick right now and she believes cooking for you is oppression, then just run away, bro. Fast, not Thanks. slow. Thanks. You guys remember my, my video with the burrito story? God, man. And if you thought that Yeah, and I agree. Shout out to Chisha Z, man. Mm -hmm. But you know what the mm -hmm. problem is, Chisha Z? Good coffee. Let's keep it moving. And if you thought that was an isolated incident, meet Ra, another TikToker who is also a happily married woman who's suffering at the hands of bitter women on TikTok. She posted a video specifically for- Notice how the hate is only going to happily married women. Crazy. Who like, who their, like their husbands. She said in the video, this video is for women who like their husband. Almost like she knew to filter out the bitter women on TikTok because there's just so many of them. She went on to jokingly suggest that if you didn't like your husband, you could keep scrolling. This is for the girls that actually like their husbands. If you don't really like your husband, just keep going. Studies have shown that men's favorite scents are actually pumpkin pie and vanilla. So then she goes on to talk about some girl shit, you know, but what followed <laughs> next were comments that were so bitter from other women who were commenting about how much they don't like their husbands that she mm -hmm. actually made a separate video. That's the thing that pisses me off when you go in a comment section and there's a bunch of women agreeing and joking about how much they don't like their man and they're just getting all the support. Responding back to a particular comment that read, wait, people like their husbands? I will never understand how people think this is a flex. The number of people commenting on my video and saying the way I scrolled so fast. And this is not like the man versus bear debate. This is the exactly. man that you stood in front of your friends, your family, God, and said, yeah, that's my number one. That's my guy. How is that not your best friend, your ace? I don't get it. This is the weirdest socially acceptable joke that people make. It's such like a boomer thing. And it is so weird to me. Like my husband is literally my best friend. He's my favorite person. I can't wait for him to come home today so that we can hang out and like go do something together with our baby. I can't wait to have five billion more babies with him like i don't get it does anybody else how many married women have you ever seen make a video like that that said that out of their mouth rare absolutely love adore and is obsessed with their husband or is it just me i know this obviously doesn't apply if you're in some sort of terrible messed up situation this is your normal average marriage unfortunately if you are a woman who loves appreciates respects your husband and truly truly do value him and tiktok is the wrong place for you to share that because you just get attacked. It's just what we see over and over again. And we've seen this exact same thing. Wives who show appreciation to their husbands get slammed and catch backlash so many times. I've actually covered a lot of these topics. There was a surgeon wife who went viral for willingly cooking for her husband after a 13 hour shift. People were really upset about that and wanted clarification whether she was. Imagine you come home, cook for somebody you like, and you go viral on social media for that. Insane because of the level of hatred that people have for you for doing it. Cooking while he was kicking his feet up and watching her cook. I just got home from a 24 hour shift and so many people have sent me my video that has made it to Twitter and it has made it to Instagram. Is my husband at home sitting on the couch watching me slip away while he did absolutely nothing? Yes. And then there was another <laughs> wife serving her man food who went viral because the sight of seeing a woman serve her man is so rare today that she built a whole following of men just based off that, going to the stove, making his plate, and then walking over a few steps and handing it to him. The Get men were enamored. And then another wife who prepared food for her husband and his friends triggered a bunch of bitter women and she happened to go viral as well for all the wrong reasons. I'll be honest, nothing to me is more confusing than seeing women who are married triggered by other wives catering to their husbands. It just it reminds them of their own lack of effort. And then they're gonna be the ones who are pissed at their men for not doing enough. That doesn't make sense to me. And it's not that they only dislike seeing wives do nice things for their husbands. They also refuse to believe that there's such thing as a happily married couple. There are a bunch of women out here who just don't believe it exists. Here's a video from another- Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like people's happiness, when you're in a loving relationship, other people are so jealous and they hate that. And the craziest part about it is, it's from married individuals. You mean to tell me you loved somebody so much, loved somebody so much, you stood in front of your entire family and their entire family and in front of God and said, this is my person. And a couple years later, you're like, I don't like him anymore. Do you actually like your husband? 
I couldn't imagine cooking for my like is this not your person or not? Are you not in love with this person or not? See the, the level of psych psychopathic psychopathic the level of crazy you have to be to be doing all of that and in the back of your mind you're like eh, I don't really like this guy. Insane, man. Insane. Absolutely insane. So listen, tell me know let me know what you uh thought of this video in the comments. If you made it this far, you want me to make more content like this, type in more content like this. Like the video if you like the video. And with that, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.